Hello there. What if you could capture the air of an Osaka sunset forever? Well, these SPF DIYs won't let you do that. But what they will do is tell you how to transform two ordinary playing cards into two wonderful devices. The first, a battery charger powered by the sun, unlike any battery charger you've ever seen before, with magnets. And the second, a way to power your Arduino with any light source, including something like this 14 watt compact fluorescent bulb. Made on the back of a playing card with solar from scratch. These should take you about 10 to 15 minutes to complete and no soldering is required. Here's one way to make them. So first, take your playing card and fold it so that it can hold a AA battery snugly. AA rechargeable battery. And then we're going to put on a few pieces of this copper tape. It's widely available and cheap, and it's got adhesive backing. It's really only conductive um, very well along the shiny surface on the top, not through the thickness. So, I'm going to put on a couple pieces of this, like so. And these are going to form the connections between the string of solettes, or small pieces of solar, and my battery. So it should look something like this. Next step is to put on your first solette. Again, these are small pieces of uh, silicon PV that have been laser cut out of a larger cell. I put on a little bit of super glue onto my copper tape. And now I'm going to press and hold a solette onto the copper tape. And I'm going to repeat this four times where I connect the bottom of one solette to the top of another solette. Sort of stuck. <laughs> there we go. I'm doing this on a low density polyethylene um, just like a plastic folder because if I make a mistake and attach one of the solettes or the card to this working surface, it won't stick. Now I'm putting a few more pieces, a few more drops of super glue. This is the thin stuff, cyanoacrylate, onto the top of that solette. And that will attach the top of this guy, which is negative, to the bottom of the neighboring solette, which is, well, you could call it positive. Stringing them together in series. And I'm going to repeat this a couple more times. So now if I took a measurement across these guys, I would actually read about 1.5 volts in the sunlight. Um, you might think that it should read 2 volts because there are 4 solettes here and each solette puts out around half a volt. But I'm using one of the solettes as a dummy just to pull down um, the top surface of one solette onto my copper tape. Um, you don't need to do this. You could put the copper tape on the top of a solette. 
so then you save a solette, but I find this to be more reliable oh. um, since we're just using super glue after all to hold these together. Incidentally, the reason that the super glue works, even though it's not conductive, is that the, these uh, silver ink bus bars and runner lines on the top of the pan on the top of these solettes, they're a bit raised. So the super glue dries at the lower sections of the solettes, forcing the raised um, the raised uh, bus bars and silver ink runner lines to press into the bottom of the neighboring solettes. Take a couple magnets, pop them on to your copper tape. A couple more. And that's it. You're basically, basically done. Um, the last step is you can add some encapsulant. You can use five minute epoxy, or there's actually new encapsulants that are coming out with the uh, with the Solar Pocket Factory DIY kits. Um, but for now, you can use just five minute epoxy. And the last step is zooming into a complete version is at the bottom here, I actually got a scrap piece of acrylic to make this uh, more rigid. Um, so now I can really just snap in the battery and not worry about my solettes fracturing. So now, then I'll just lay this in the sun and it will recharge my battery. Now, if you wanna get a little bit fancier, you can add indicator LEDs on the base of your, um, your card. Uh, something that's quite essential actually is you can add um, a Schottky diode. This is a low voltage drop diode. Um, in between your solar panel and the battery that you're going to be charging. This is important if you're going to leave your batteries connected into your charger at night. If you're not, it doesn't matter, but if you are, you need this Schottky diode to prevent the battery discharging into the solar panel at night. There's one of the little guys here. I like to use the, um, the surface mount Schottky diodes because those can actually be mounted with super glue uh, if you're careful. And the, uh, another thing that you can do with this technique is to make a charge card that can power an Arduino either in the sun or this one's actually designed to shove into the inside of a compact fluorescent bulb. This acts as a little spring that keeps it um, uh, tucked in there. And then your Arduino can flare to life whenever the light comes on. Of course, it can recharge a super cap or a battery as well, uh, so then it can be um, recharged when the light's on and then continue to power itself without plugging into a computer or a disposable battery source. And there you have it. A few different ways that you can use solettes and a regular playing card to make a battery charger and something that can power an Arduino with any light source. All night a candle's fire carries a good name What would you ask a campfire?